Hey you guys, what's going on? A. Manderson, 1979. I forgot my name that quick. I always do that. I have to think about it. A. Manderson, 1979. Yeah. Today is February 24th, 2013. Um, first and foremost, I want to give my girl Mimi Minus 100 a shout out for her um, Valentine's Day giveaway. The winner was announced and it was yours truly. And I want to say congratulations to all the other individuals who participated in the contest. Um, the con contests are not necessarily about winning. It's about getting up and moving and doing something and feel yourself. Even if it's just for a few minutes, it's about feeling yourself, you know, giving yourself some kind of belief that you can, you know, what? I love this contest. Um, here's the box that I got. I put the weights here. The box, as you can see, I've already opened it because, you know, Mo can't wait for stuff like that. I'm, <laughs> I have to see, th I, I need to see it now, you know? And then I got a little, like a little postcard kind of thing that says, um, wishing me a happy Valentine's Day from my girl, Miss Tan. She is super beautiful, super beautiful. And a little note, you know, um, that she wrote to me, you know, and I, I don't know, I don't read other people's, you know, notes that people left me, you know what I'm saying? And in this box, it's filled with, um, pink rose petals, um, the box says live love laugh it's the cutest box i'm gonna actually put this in my restroom because i like stuff like that there was um um a necklace pearl necklace here that came with it with the uh matching uh bracelet super cute and that was inside of this little baggie that has pearl little earrings that also match what I'm actually going to wear it to school tomorrow. And on top of all that, I got a little bear, a little stuffed animal. And everybody knows Mo loves stuffed animals. My whole closet is full of stuffed animals. What? I just love them. I can't get rid of them. I don't know why. I name them. You know what I'm saying? I, they have their own names. They have their own locations. And they have their own friends. You know, so this um, little stuffed animal. Don't know what I'm going to name him. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to call her her. Don't know what I'm going to name her yet. But, um... I got a lot of friends for her, okay? So, thanks again to my girl, Miss Tan, and her friend, um, Delicia. Delicia? Delicious? I forgot your name, but it starts with a D. You know, so I was close. Um, what's been going on with me? What's been going on with me? Well, I've been dealing with a lot of adversity lately. Um, a lot of outside things going on in my elements with people that I'm dealing with. A lot of personalities clashing and things like that. Um... Long story short, Mo had to come out of pocket on somebody. So I had to literally uh, come out of character, let's say that. And, you know, I haven't came out of character, <laughs> or you know what I'm saying, on anybody in quite some time. I've really been, you know, adamantly working on staying positive and optimistic and diffusing situations because I know I know how, okay? And um, unfortunately dealing with someone that I'm taking care of business with, that it's supposed to be business. You're supposed to be professional. You're supposed to know how to count. You're supposed to know three plus motherfucking three. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to show you how to do this shit because you're in this position. Okay, I got a little mad right there. Look, I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing it back. Okay, so long story short with that, you guys, you know, that's something that had been brewing, I guess. And it finally came to a head because this individual thought that she just because she was in the position that she was in, she could talk to anybody any kind of way because everybody else went in there and bowed down to her. And I went in there showing her much respect, okay, respecting her position, res respecting her as a person that, that, that is professional, you know, but she didn't have to down talk me. You know what I'm saying? She didn't have to talk to me like I, I wasn't shit and didn't know nothing because I can motherfucking add you know what I'm saying? If I can't do nothing else, I can add. You know what I'm saying? I can fucking count. You know what I'm saying? I learned that in grammar school. But <clears throat> anywho, um, let's move on. Um, we'll talk about how that situation is going to unfold over the weeks. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll give you guys an update. But um, as far as my exercising and everything has been going, um, I haven't been too consistent. I've been doing taxes, and of course, you guys know I'm in school and everything else that I'm doing. You know, I'm trying to be super motherfucking woman around here. You know what I'm saying? Something has to give. So I kind of cut down on the times that I'm doing people's taxes. I know you guys are like, girl, that's bringing in money. Yeah, it's bringing in money, but, you know, I had to sacrifice something and I weighed everything out on a scale and that fell to the bottom. 
go figure, you know? <laughs> so I had to kind of cut down a little bit because I was, I was losing myself, so to speak. I was losing myself. I was losing me. You know, I am about exercise and fitness and that's a part of my life. And that was being put on the back burner, you know, and I didn't like that because that needs to always be one of my priorities. It's the first thing I do at 5 a.m. in the morning. But when I do it, I need to get in there. I need to fucking work out. I don't need to get in there and just, you know, oh my gosh, I got 10 more minutes. No, that's not me. I, I gotta be a hog. I gotta be a fucking beast, you know, getting that early morning workout in, you know. And that, has, that hasn't been happening, you know. That's just the truth. <clears throat> the last time I weighed in, I was uh, 217.4. And that was on February 2nd, okay? Um, I'm still averaging around the same. I don't know exactly what my weight is right now because it is that time of the month. And um, your girl is severely bloated. I mean, it's it's bad. Lately, they've been getting, every month here, they've been getting worse and worse and worse. So I'm just waiting for a disaster. And that's the truth. Because I'm like, damn, this, this pain ain't no joke, you know? But, um, yeah, so I'm severely bloated. Um... And now the last time I checked my weight, I was 217.4. So of course, after this week, I'll just check it again just to see where I'm at. Like I said, being bloated, I'm only up one or two, but got to be about two or three pounds. That's what it feels like. Anywho, so I got to get that consistency back. You know, I'm only working out doing enough right now to maintain, you know. Um, lastly, I want to say, I want to give myself a shout out. I know you guys are like, what? How you gonna come on here and give yourself a shout out? Yeah, I'm on here to give myself a shout out. I wanna give Mo a shout out, you know? And I wanna say congratulations to me for the simple fact that for one year, as of February 2013, one year has lapsed since I have lost 100 pounds and have maintained a 100 pound weight loss for an entire year. You know, that may not mean like much, to a lot of folks. But to us here in this weight loss community, that means a lot. Because not only did you lose the weight, you kept it off. You have kept it off. Am I finished yet? Hell no. You know what I'm saying? But but to, main, to maintain a 100 pound weight loss, that's a big deal here. Well, it may not, I don't know who it's a big deal to, but people I know here in the weight loss community, losing 100 pounds and then keeping that off you know, that's a big deal. Losing 20 pounds and keeping that off, that's huge. You know what I'm saying? Um, you found a formula. Something worked. You did something right. And <clears throat> I have to credit it to, of course, you guys for keeping me mo motivated. You know, for psyching me out to make me make sure I, I continue to believe in myself that I can. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, I give credit, you know, to, to my, 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 my girls and my dudes here on YouTube, of course. And I also got to give credit to hard work, dedication, and motherfucking determination. Because let me tell you this. <clears throat> those three ingredients, you guys, those three ingredients is the key formula is the key formula to successful weight loss, okay? Um, I'm the living proof of that. I've lost 100 pounds, and I've kept it off for a whole year. So I have to be doing some something right. You know what I'm saying? Um, a whole lot of other people have too. Hard work, determination, dedication. They've used that exact same formula, and they've kept their weight off. So there's something with, with, with those three ingredients that maybe somebody should, you know, think about, you know? Open your eyes to hard work, dedication, determination. It's nothing. It's just three little things that you have to combine to create this formula that actually works. It's the only thing that works. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter if you have weight loss surgery. It don't matter what you, you still have to put in hard work. You still have to be dedicated to lose. You still have to uh, keep the motivation going. It's the only way you're going you're gonna to be successful at anything. Not, like I said, yeah, you know what? Not just weight loss, not anything in your life. It's the only way you're going to be successful. You got to want it bad enough. And I know I've said that a million times. You got to want it bad enough. I guess I wanted it super motherfucking bad because I kept it off. I kept it off for a whole year and I'm happy at, I'm happy for myself. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. You know what? I cried. I did. It was about four or five days ago. I didn't post post about it or talk about it on Facebook or any other social network. That was something I kept to myself. 
I cried because I thought about everything that I had been through in my life, in my, my overweight, obese life. I, felt, I, I thought about everything that I had been through. Not only did I lose the 100 pounds, but I kept it off. What? What are them haters saying now? What are those haters, those fucking naysayers saying right motherfucking now? Not only did she lose the fucking weight, she kept it off. What? You better, y'all, somebody better, you be, somebody better stop me. <laughs> I'm getting ready to testify. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, it's an unbelievable motherfucking feeling. It is. But I didn't realize it was this much joy. I didn't. I didn't know it was going to be this much joy for me. Like, what? Okay, I lost it. Look, I keep saying it. Like, I lost the 100 pounds. And then I kept it off for over a year. You a bad motherfucker, Mo. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm thinking. Like, you a badass motherfucker, man. You, whoo! You doing a damn thing. Hard work, dedication, determination. What? You are unstoppable. And that's what I have to keep telling myself every day. You are unstoppable. You are unstoppable. You are indestructible. You can fucking do it. No one can tell you you can't do nothing. What do you want to do? Do you want to be a lawyer? Do you want to be a judge? Guess what? You're going to be a judge. It's going to happen. But you got to use those three key ingredients. Hard work, dedication, determination and create that formula into becoming a judge. What? I'm just saying that was just an example. But I will be back later on this week with a arm exercise video. And I want to also shout out everybody else. Congratulations to everybody else who's um, not only lost weight. It doesn't matter the amount that you've lost, you know. Um, but that you know individuals that are able to just maintain to be able to maintain that loss that's that's great that's wonderful you should pat yourself on the back you know you're completing excellence here you know so i just wanted to stress that damn it i'm in the 12 minutes you know sometimes when i start talking it feels like i just only been talking for five minutes you know and then i miss you guys too so you know i mean damn you know anyways um I want to thank all you guys for your support that you've always given me. And if I have to, every video I, I make the, and I have to say thank you for your support, I'm going to always say thank you for your support because your support means more to me than you could ever imagine. You can ever imagine. Your inbox messages mean more to me than you can ever imagine. And I just want to thank you guys and everybody who have subscribed to my channel recently. Again, I want to say welcome and thank you. Feel free to watch my past videos to make sure I'm what you want. Because I may not be what you want because I ain't for everybody. Okay, I said that before. All right. So, you guys keep it pushing. Always stay 100% in all that you do. And your girl is out. I'm out.